Hello everyone, I'm back. So now we all know a lot about different properties of various shapes, right? Now you can also identify the shapes of different objects around us, correct? I hope drawing different objects with different shapes was fun too, right? So how many objects could you draw? Many, I hope. Well now, let's move forward. Now, it's time to enjoy learning a new topic. It is symmetry. So now, I'll tell you what is symmetry. Let's begin. Symmetry is when two parts of a shape are exactly like one another. Now, observe the figures above to see both the sides of the dotted line. If these shapes are cut or folded along this dotted line, you will find that one side is exactly the same as the other. The dotted line or the fold is called the line of symmetry. Line of symmetry can be vertical, horizontal or slanting. Now look around. You can find a lot of objects in symmetry. Can you observe the line of symmetry in the given flower, hut, spectacles, butterfly? Now come on. Draw four symmetrical objects and also draw the line of symmetry in them. Okay? Enjoy drawing. Now observe. There are some English letters which are in symmetry. Let me give you the examples of letters with vertical line of symmetry. Here is the list. I hope you all can observe the line of symmetry in the letters A, H, I, M, O, T, U, V, W, X and Y. All these letters have vertical line of symmetry. Now, I'll list the letters with horizontal line of symmetry. B, C, D, E, H, I, O and X. These letters have horizontal line of symmetry as you can see. Now, can you tell me which of the following shapes are symmetrical? Come on, observe all the shapes and decide. Answer time. The shape A, shape C, D, E, G and I are symmetrical because as you can see the shapes on both the sides of the symmetrical line are exactly the same while shape B, F and H are not symmetrical because if we draw a line, the shape on both the sides will not be exactly the same. Right? So now you know all about shapes. It was an easy chapter, wasn't it? I hope you enjoyed learning it. Now you'll get a worksheet soon. Have fun solving it at home. Take care. Bye.